Hi everybody, um, my name is Dr. Rania Habash. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Everbridge, um, and I'm also a real life practicing ophthalmologist in Miami. So my uh, perspective on, on telehealth and on healthcare solutions is a pretty good one because I've had pre practical experience in the hospital setting and sort of know what works and what doesn't work. So probably one of the biggest uh, problems facing uh, hospitals today is our lack of ability to communicate. We're still sort of stuck in the dark ages. Our residents still run around with alphanumeric pagers and half the time they'll get a page uh, with a number that's incorrect and they have no idea who to call um, and the patient's waiting and the whole workflow is backing up as a result. The rest of the time they call back a number and they're sitting on hold waiting for the nurse to, to get to them um, and by, that, by the time that happens the doctor who they were supposed to talk to has now moved on to another patient and it's a very very long arduous process unnecessarily so one of the residents um, just told me the other day he said it would just be so great if Apple created a pager and I looked at him and laughed and I said they did it's called your phone <laughs> because no no uh, consult information and no codes should be going on overhead or through pagers anymore um, you should be able to get in touch with people directly just like their friends and families do on their own mobile devices so that's kind of where I, uh, this all comes in I'll uh, share a, a, a funny story with you about the inception of our secure messaging and video technology about four years ago I was seeing patients in my private practice and also taking call at like five different hospitals when I get a call from the ER doctor and he said hey Habash we need you down here right away to triage a patient who has an orbital fracture we think he's entrapped and needs surgery and I said well I can't do that there's 20 patients sitting in my waiting room so how about you just text me a CT a picture of the CT scan which he did and then I said okay let's do a quick FaceTime call with the patient which we did and 30 seconds later had ascertained the patient didn't need surgery and could go home on oral antibiotics. I hung up my phone and went about my business for the day. A couple of days later, got that call from the compliance officer who said, what are you doing? You can't do that. It's not HIPAA compliant. And I said, well, I don't care. I was happy. The ER doctor was happy. The 20 patients in my waiting room were happy. And definitely the patient sitting in the ER with the orbital fracture was very happy because he didn't have to wait for five hours for me to finish with my patients so I could come down and triage him. So she explained to me all the HIPAA laws and guidelines and explained that it could be a $1.5 million fine for the institution when things are done non-compliantly like that. As a result, um, we made software that is HIPAA compliant and um, my caveat to uh, the person making the software, who happened to be my brother at the time, um, I, uh, I said, I, it better not take me more than one brain cell to use, otherwise I'm not going to use it and neither will anyone else. It needs to look and feel exactly like messaging and FaceTime like we do every single day with our friends and family. Well, it, it worked just that way um, and it was so simple. Um, it didn't take more than one brain cell to, to learn or to use. We put it on the App Store and Google Play. It spread virally from there and now is integrated into the whole Everbridge platform. So now, along with our on-call scheduling integration and our alerting, we also have HIPAA com compliant means of communicating, which is far more than just sending text messages, it's sending pictures, doing dictations, and doing video calls and audio calls that are encrypted as well. So now it's uh, spanning the gamut of full telemedicine along with um, our other features of the platform. So this is the way medicine should be practiced and will be practiced. Um, you know, this should be integrated in every hospital system in the next few years. I mean, again, you know, think back, uh, we'll, we'll, one day we'll think back in a couple of years, we'll think back at the times when doctors used to carry pagers and there were these overhead pages uh, going through the hospital system and we'll look back and, and chuckle to ourselves and say, do you remember when? 